In this video, we're gonna tell you seven reasons why you should not get a black lab. Labs are one of the most popular dog breeds in America for good reason. They're easygoing, affectionate, energetic. They love the water. They love being around their family. They can even be hunting dogs. They're super versatile, but they may not be best for everyone because these dogs need plenty of space. They're high energy. They can be really big and strong and they shed a lot. These are just a few reasons why a black lab may not be best for you. And in this video, we're gonna break down seven reasons why a black lab may not be best for you and your family. So by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not this dog is gonna be a good fit for you and your family. So let's get started with number one. The first reason why a black lab may not be best for you is because they get big and strong. A black lab can be anywhere from 60 to 70 up to 80 pounds as a male and they can be 50 to 70 pounds as a female. They get big, strong and they may not be best for you if you're not able to walk this dog or really control this dog. So if you're older, this may not be the best dog for you or if you just don't have the ability to get them out, get them exercise and get them moving, the black lab just won't be a good dog for you. But if you're active, you can handle their strength, you can take them on walks, then this will be an ideal dog and a great dog for you and your family. The number two reason why a black lab may not be best for you is because they need to be socialized. Most dogs need to be socialized, of course, but especially the black lab because they're very sweet, loving, and loyal. And if they get socialized early and often, they'll be an outstanding dog for you and your family. But if you don't have the time, energy, or the ability to socialize them, take them in the car, go to different places to see different animals, different dogs, people, then this dog will be a challenge for you because they're just going to be on edge and a little more anxious than you'd like. So if you can get them socialized, this is an outstanding dog. But if you don't have the ability to do that, then maybe a different dog will be better for you and your family. The number three reason why a black lab may not be best for you is because of their exercise requirements. These are big, strong, active dogs that are hunting dogs, so they love to be outside, they love to be doing something, and they need exercise. On average, they need one hour of exercise every day. Now, if your black lab's a little bit more laid back, maybe only 30 to 45 minutes, or maybe it's extra active and you need to do an hour to an hour and a half. This can be made up of running, swimming, playing fetch, jogging alongside you, anything to do it with you. They wanna be outside active with you. So it won't be enough to just let them outside in the backyard, but instead you want to exercise your dog and build the bond with your dog at the same time. So if you don't have the ability to exercise your black lab, a black lab just won't be best for you and you should look to another dog breed. The number four reason why a black lab may not be best for you is because of their health issues. It's just important to know that a black lab is prone to some health issues and it's something to be aware about. They have joint problems, bloat and obesity, ear infection, and heart disease. But all of these are somewhat preventable if you get good exercise and good food. So if you don't have the ability to exercise your dog, like we said earlier, or you can't get them very good food, then a black lab may not be best for you because they do have some health concerns, but these health concerns can be avoided if you provide your black lab with the right things that they need. So if you don't have the ability to do that, then a black lab's not gonna be for you, but if you can give them high quality food and good exercise, a black lab's gonna be healthy, strong, and a great dog for you and your family. The number five reason why a black lab may not be best for you is because they shed. These dogs shed and they shed a lot. And to make matters worse, they have the black hairs that show up everywhere. So if you're not okay with hairs in your carpet, on your furniture, on your clothes, on you, then a black lab's not gonna be for you because they're gonna shed a lot and it's gonna be all over the place. But if you don't mind shedding and you're okay with all of it, then a black lab's perfect embrace all the hair and they'll be a great dog for you and your family. The number six reason why a black lab may not be best for you is because they can have separation anxiety. These guys do not like being left alone for too long. So if you're gone long periods of time or you go on work trips for long periods of time, then a black lab may not be best for you because separation anxiety can cause destructive chewing, excessive barking, urinating, defecating, trying to escape through doors and windows, excessive salivation, panicking, pacing around the house, just very stressful for the dog. So if you're around more often and you can have somebody check in on this dog, they just don't want to be in a crate all day, then this dog will be great. But if you're gone and away from this dog, 
they're going to really struggle because they're so loving, loyal, and gentle they just want to be around their owner as much as they possibly can. The number seven reason why a black lab may not be best for you is because they need a strong leader. This may not be the best dog if it's your first time ever owning a dog, but if you know what you're doing, you know how to be a good leader, calm, assertive, confident, give clear and concise direction, then a black lab will be awesome. They know when to respond, they know how to do things with their owner, and they'll be a great, loving, loyal dog. But you need to give firm, strong leadership to this dog, and if you do, they'll be outstanding. But if you don't know how to do that or dogs are new to you, maybe another dog breed will be best. We hope you've enjoyed this video about the Black Lab, and we'll see you on the next one.